The charges are that Caitlin and I pocketed $1.3 million, and I just want to come out and say that those uh, charges are true. But out of that $1.3, half a million dollars went to the IRS, and a few hundred thousand dollars went to a home remodel that the Lord told us to do. This is Eli Regalado, a Colorado pastor charged with taking millions from his followers in a crypto fraud scheme, a scheme he says God told him to start. Let's break it down. Last April, Regalado took to YouTube to announce that he was launching a cryptocurrency called Index Coin. It is now public. It is now out there. Uh, and now God's going to make good on that on that word. Our number one thing, guys, is launching the exchange, launching Index Coin on the exchange, um, and setting the rails for God's wealth transfer. Regalado and his wife Caitlin began selling the cryptocurrency to members of his online-only Victorious Grace Church and Christian communities in Denver through the Kingdom Wealth Exchange, an online marketplace that they created and ran. In a civil complaint filed on January 16th, Colorado's security commissioner said that the couple raised approximately $3.2 million from more than 300 people. But despite Regalado's claims that investing would lead to wealth, Colorado state regulators said that IndexCoin was essentially worthless. The complaint also alleged that the couple used some of their investors' funds to pay for things like a Range Rover, jewelry, cosmetic dentistry, vacations, and home renovations. Authorities allege that Regalado, quote, took advantage of the trust and faith of his own Christian community and violated the Colorado Security Act. Just days after the charges were filed, Regalado posted a video statement admitting to pocketing $1.3 million of investors' funds for himself and his family. So how this whole thing started is the Lord told us uh, in 21 to walk away from our marketing company, and he said, I'm going to do a new thing. And then he took us into this cryptocurrency. It was a different cri cryptocurrency other than index coin at the time. Well, that cryptocurrency turned out to be a scam. And I said, Lord, I said, you told me to do this. Now there's people involved in this. What do you want me to do? And the Lord said, I want you to build this the way that it should be done. We sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. We did. We took God at his word and sold a cryptocurrency with no clear exit. The Regalado story is the latest example of the dark underbelly of the so-called prosperity gospel, a controversial belief in many evangelical churches that faith in God will lead to wealth and material possessions. Father, you said, whatever I touch will prosper and succeed. Yeah, you got favor on you. Increase in favor. Why am I blessed and I've never had a deficit in 34 years? because I never changed my tithe into arms. A court hearing for the Regalados is scheduled for January 29th. So far, there's no word if God will be testifying in the case. What we're believing for still is that God is going to do a miracle. 